Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. In Java, you can use the java.net.url class to represent a URL and then obtain an input stream from it. This is useful when you want to read data from a web resource, such as a web page, an image, or any file accessible via HTTP or FTP. Hashtag 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 steps to use URL to input stream in Java. 1. Create a URL object. You need to create a URL object by passing the URL string to its constructor. 2. Open a connection. You can open a connection to the URL using the open connection method, which returns a URL connection. 3. Get the input stream. Call the get input stream method on the URL connection object to obtain an input stream. 4. Read from the input stream. Use standard methods to read data from the input stream. 5. Close the input stream. Always close the input stream to free up resources. Hashtag 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 example code. Here's a complete example that demonstrates how to read data from a URL using an input stream. In this example, we will read the content of a web page. Hashtag 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 explanation of the code. 1. Import statements. We import the necessary classes from the java.io and java.net packages. 2. URL creation. We create a URL object with the specified URL string. 3. Opening a connection. We use url.open connection to get a URL connection object. 4. Getting input stream. We call url connection.get input stream to read the data from the URL. 5. Reading data. We use a buffered reader wrapped around an input stream reader to read the data line by line. 6. Closing resources. Finally, we close the buffered reader and input stream to release resources. Hashtag 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 error handling. The example includes basic error handling using a try catch block. It catches IO exception, which can occur for various reasons, such as network issues or invalid URLs. Hashtag 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 important notes. Always ensure you handle exceptions appropriately in production code. Be aware of the potential for malformed URL exception if the URL string is invalid. Consider the impact of network latency and timeouts when dealing with URLs. If you expect to handle larger data, consider using a more efficient reading strategy. This tutorial should give you a good foundation for using Java's URL and input stream classes to read data from web resources. Feel free to modify the URL and experiment with different types of content.